Welcome to the month of May. It's hard to believe that we've only, we only have two months till the end of the school year. It's been a busy year with ups and downs, and it's great to see the Bishop Ryan come to life with school activities. First, Eid Mubarak to all our students of the Islamic faith. Hope this day was filled with happiness and festivities with your family and friends. Second, Catholic Education Week drive. We're having a renew, restore, rebuild, and we're collecting for non-perishable food, clothing, and kitchen items for the Good Shepherd Centers from May 2nd to May 6th. Six, all clothing and kitchen items can be dropped off at the chapel every day, and non-perishable food items will be collected during your period one class during Friday, May 6th. Third, we will be having three chapel masses during the month of May. All are welcome to join us in these liturgies. This week, we'll be welcoming Father Joseph from Incarnation Parish on Wednesday, May 4th, as he'll be celebrating the Eucharist during period three. Fourth, I'm looking for altar servers and Eucharistic ministers for our upcoming end of the year liturgy and the 2022 graduation liturgy. It's a great way to build up your school involvement portfolio, especially for future graduation awards. If you're able to assist with these school liturgies, please drop me an email or drop by the chaplain's office. And finally, come celebrate May, the month of Mary, with a rosary every Friday at 7.30 in the chapel. That's all from the chaplain's seat today. Good luck, everyone, with their final eight weeks of classes. And don't forget to drop by the chaplain's office and say, hi, you just never know, you may have some candy for you. And now more from WRBR. Bishop Ryan. I'm Liam. And I'm Daniel. And these are your morning announcements. Hi Celtics. Your YEV crew is reminding all staff to submit a high school photo of themselves. This is the final week. Send them to WRBR.news or WRBR 57.1 at Outlook.com where you send the announcements to. Celtic Sofa has been rescheduled to next Monday, May 9th on our turf. Bring your bestie to the studio during lunch <laughs> for a friendly game of Pizza Slab. It's sure to be a hit. Period 5 tomorrow, students and staff are welcome to join the elevated talk recordings. Come to the studio period 5 if you have a spare or dial 114 to, be get, to bring your class down and participate. More YEV dates and events coming this week, so stay tuned. Are you in grade 9 or 10 classes? Are you struggling with math or English? Do your marks need a makeover? Do you need help with your homework? If so, Student Tutoring program, Support Program is for you. Beginning next week, grade 11 and 12 students will be available during period three and four lunches to help you learn. If you're interested in attending the tutoring program, please visit the Student Success LMS site or stop by the Student Success office for more information. Looking forward to helping you succeed. There will be a Celtic free meeting this Thursday in room 209. Again, there will be a Celtic free meeting this Thursday in room 209. In partnership with the YMCA, our period one ESL class will be hosting a fundraiser selling samosas for Ukraine. All pre-orders can now be made on School Cash Online. Samosas are only $1.50 each, and the last day to order will be Tuesday, May 10th. Orders will be distributed in the forum on Wednesday, May 18th, during periods three and four lunches. Thank you for supporting our first fundraiser, Ms. Bartnick's Period 1 ESL class. This is a message from the Celtic Diversity Advisors, Ms. Pavora and Ms. Pakora. If you purchased a feminism t-shirt as part of the March fundraiser, please visit Portal 9 to pick it up. There will also be a diversity meeting today after school in the learning comments. Thank you. This message goes out to all members of the yearbook committee. Today is Tuesday, and our weekly in-person meeting will be held at 3 p.m. in room 120. This will be a two-hour meeting. Dinner will be provided. See you there. To all graduates, this message relates to yearbook quote submissions. Please note that the deadline for quote submissions was April 30th. We are no longer accepting quotes for the yearbook. To repeat, we are no longer accepting submissions. If you have any concerns regarding this matter, please reach out to Ms. Gallus. That's the way the cookie crumbles, we are. We'll be right back with your sports. Hey, we are. It's Hannah and Isa from your BR grad committee. 
Just a reminder that extra ceremony tickets for our graduation are now available on School Cash Online. Please note that each graduate will receive two tickets each, and these are additional tickets for $10 each if required. There is a limited quantity, and they're only on sale till May 13th, so please get on School Cash Online and order your tickets. Another announcement from your grad committee. Every year here at Bishop Ryan, the graduation committee puts together a video highlighting the last four years of our high school journey. We will be opening an LMS Dropbox where we would love for you to submit any photo or video memories from your high school experience. This Dropbox will be available on the Grade 12 LMS page under Assignments, and the video will be played at our graduation brunch on June 8th. Please follow our Instagram account at BRGrad2020 for any news and updates. That's all from your grad committee. Stay tuned for more WRBR news. Welcome back, Bishop Ryan. We're back with the sports news. Uh, last night in soccer action, your junior boys took on an absolutely destroyed ACMT on our home field. The boys demonstrated their athleticism, skill, tactical awareness, and strong worth ethic from the moment they stepped on the pitch. Solid goaltending by Romali, tough defense play across the back, and solid passing game on the ground made by these un boys unstoppable on the attack. With each new line and substitution, made this team not skip a beat and showed how m much deeply they truly have. Valiant effort by all with goals scored by Lucas, Owen, Christian, and our man of the match, Marco, with a hat trick. Final score, BR6, ACMT, zero. Let's, great start to the season, boys. Go Celtics. Please check the Reminder app for details about practice today. There will be a girls' touch football practice tomorrow at 410 on the turf. That's tomorrow at 410 on the turf. Also, the team is practicing again on Thursday at 245 right after school. Please see Coach Davies if you are unable to attend. I'm Liam. And I'm Daniel. And those were your announcements. Stay tuned for more WRBR. Good morning, BR. Before we, we begin, I have a special sports announcement I'd like to make this morning. Congratulations to Bishop Ryan's grade 12 student, Dylan Villanueva, on being chosen to represent Canada's national team at the Pan Am Games for Archery. Good Cong luck. Congrats, Dylan. And in other news, it's Nancy and Leah from your VRC here with a few important announcements for you. First, as you've all heard, we have our first school dance of the year underway, and the date is fast approaching. Ticket sales are live and limited, so get them ASAP. This dance will be held on Wednesday, May 18th at Carmen's Banquet Hall. Tickets are $35 each, and we have a chosen theme. There will be a poll posted on our Instagram story at Bishop underscore Ryan SC today until 2.30. You guys can guess the theme by voting via our poll. The theme will be announced at the end of the day today, so take your guesses. That's all from us for today, BR. Have a terrific Tuesday.